Hi everyone! Today we're painting a watercolor hearts card perfect for Valentine's Day. This project is perfect for beginners and even for kids because we're tracing the hearts from a free printable and then just filling the hearts in with watercolor. Each heart is unique and imperfect so there's no stress about your painting skills. At the end you'll have a beautiful handmade card to give to someone you love. Let's get started! Supplies you'll need for this project are watercolor paper, either 8.5 by 11 sized or folded into a 5 by 7 card, depending on which size you want to do. Watercolor paints. You can use pan paints like I've got here, or you can use the tubes of watercolor if that's what you've got on hand. Any kind will do, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can even use watercolor pencil crayons, which is what Max is going to work in um, when we show the painting. I'll put links to all my favorite supplies in the description below. A paintbrush, a marker like a fine tipped sharpie or a micron pen to outline the hearts, some clean water for the watercolor paints, and masking tape is very helpful when you're tracing the hearts. You'll also need a copy of the traceables for tracing the heart pattern. I've included an 8.5 by 11 and a 5 by 7 inch size, so that's a card size one. Um, and you can download these from my website, mandyartmarket.com. I'll put the exact link in the description below, and they're completely free to download. We're starting off by tracing the hearts onto our watercolor paper. My son is helping me out with this one. He really wanted to do it with me. So he's on the right and he is tracing the eight and a half by 11 sized traceable. I'm working on the left side and I am doing the five by seven inch card sized traceable. I'm just adding a bit of masking tape onto the back of the traceable to hold it onto the watercolor paper which prevents it from slipping around and makes it a lot easier to trace. Um, and I'm using a tracing board because I have one, because I do a lot of this kind of thing. But if you don't have a tracing board, don't worry, it's totally not necessary. You can just hold the paper up to a window or um, a computer monitor or a TV. <laughs> Anything you have that gives off light will make it a lot easier to see the dark outlines through the watercolor paper. Max is using a fine tipped Sharpie to trace his hearts and I am going to use a Micron pen um, which has archival ink and I'll put all the links to the supplies below so you can see exactly which ones we're using if you want. Really any kind of ink that's not water soluble will work here because we're going to go over it with the watercolor paints so you don't want to use anything that will run when you put water over it but any sort of permanent ink will work. So just trace over all the heart lines and the love you text at the bottom if you want to include that. I'll hop ahead and speed this up so we can get on with the project. It's surprisingly nerve wracking tracing hearts when there's cameras watching, but we managed to get through it. None of our hearts are exactly perfect, but that's okay. This is supposed to look hand done. It's not supposed to look perfect. So don't worry if you've got some little mistakes in there. So now that we've got everything traced, we're just gonna start filling in the hearts with color. Um, Max is using watercolor pencil crayons, which are really awesome for kids because they're so easy to work with and he loves using them. I'm gonna use regular watercolor paints to fill in mine. Of course, we're doing this as a watercolor project, but you could really fill them in with anything. You could use crayon, marker, pencil crayons, really anything you like. The idea is just to make a bunch of bright, colorful, handmade hearts. I'll speed this up again because it took us a good 20 minutes to get through all the painting. I'm adding the colors really randomly here, just sort of balancing out an even amount of red and blue and yellow and green. And when I'm painting the hearts, I start with a really watery layer so that it's fairly translucent. Um, and then I go in with a little bit of a darker color 
around the bottom of the heart just to make that sort of swirly watercolory effect <laughs> so it's not such a flat look to the paint. Of course you could color these any way you want. If you're somebody that likes a little bit more order in your color, you could do them variegated from a lighter one at the top to a darker one at the bottom, all in one color or any combination of colors you like. This is a really great starter project if you have watercolors but you've been sort of afraid to use them. Um, watercolor is kind of intimidating. It's a little bit tricky to get right, but this is really foolproof. With the lines, all you have to do is color them in, and it's a great way to experiment with how the paint works on the paper. I also think sometimes for kids, it is easier for them to have lines on the page to color in than to just look at a blank sheet of paper and try to paint that. I mean, there's a time and a place for that too, but um, Max is a little bit of a reluctant artist. He didn't take to it naturally. So um, he really likes the structure of having the lines and just being able to add color to it and play with the paint that way. And as far as I'm concerned, that's as good a way as any to start with art. You can see that Max is starting to add water to his colored hearts. Um, and this part is really fun because what looked like ordinary pencil crayon up until now is starting to sort of melt into paint with the water, which is really kind of fun magic to watch for kids and hey, for me too. Now that we've got all the hearts filled in, we've got one final step to do. We're going to add a bunch of little splashes all over the page to sort of add to the watercolor texture of the card. So I'm loading up the brush with lots of water and a little bit of paint, and then I will put my fingers or my hand over top of the card and sort of hit the brush handle against it so that little splatters go flying onto the page. This part is really fun and really freeform and again, one of Max's favorite parts. Do be sure that you're doing this on a surface that you don't mind getting paint on. You can put down some newspaper or something if it's a, a, you know, a nice piece of furniture that you're working on. But watercolor paint also cleans up really easily, so you don't have to be too cautious. You can just wipe it away with water when you're done. You can rotate the paper and move it around as you go to make sure that the splashes get evenly distributed all over the paper. We are also using the same colors that we used in the hearts in the original coloring um, to keep the colors kind of cohesive. But again, it's your art. You can color it any way you want. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see more fun watercolor projects, check out my easy watercolor playlist. See you soon.